is up. Party people, how we doing today? How we doing? How we doing? I was at the uh, the Walmart today. I love that. Oops, sorry. The Walmart, right? I was at Walmart today, and um, I um, was like, you know what? I'm gonna get um, something else, and. I really enjoyed um, the the cards that we opened last time, but there wasn't a lot in there. And the reason why I liked it so much is because I think that there's actually like value in something like that right now. Um, uh, you know, buying low on Scion or something like that, getting a jaw, you know, that'd be fun. Um, I got a glass of water with me, but uh, but the. This stuck out to me. I don't know how long it's been since we've done an NFL um, pack opening at all. I feel like it's been a long time um, relative to how often it was when I first started the channel. But this one wasn't too awfully priced. 66 cards. Six packs, 11 cards per pack. Um, one numbered parallel and eight rookies per box on average, so there's not uh, any autograph or memorabilia um, at all uh, guaranteed with this. Um, there are the odds with everything else. Uh, I will say it is timely. I was thinking how funny it was that Aaron Rodgers was on the, was on the cover of this as I was coming down here. And I just saw a tweet from the one and only Ian Rappaport, which said that Aaron Rodgers is eyeing a mid-December return. Which... I'll save that one for later. It's bonkers because not only is a torn Achilles or ruptured Achilles absolutely debilitating for anyone, but especially someone of Aaron Rodgers' age. So. That is quite the. That is quite the. Uh, that is quite the. Uh, the lofty goal was set by Aaron Rodgers. I don't see any packs that look. Jordan had a 
Gibbs and the others is Jameer Gibbs had a great game today. There's there's a lot of you know guys out there, so we'll see. This is uh, and I will say I have always liked the reason why I went with this pack is because one sixty six cards, but more importantly, I um I've always liked prestigious card design. So we will see. I'll lower the microphone there as I'm looking at the cards. Prestigious pros. Cooper Cup. Insert. I loved Cooper Cup when he was coming into the NFL. I did not think he'd be this good. You know, I'm not, uh, oops. I'm not going to sit there and say he would be that good, but I wanted my Saints to get him. I know that. Brian Young. All right. That's a little, or Byron Young, sorry. I was like, that's not Bryce Young. He's wearing 47. But there he goes, our first rookie. Raiders. Byron Young. Young's work ethic can't be questioned while pursuing a college football career. Young worked at Dollar General and Burger King. That's awesome. How can you not root for that guy, right? Who this is? Emmanuel Forbes. He's a corner. Keep the camera though. I've never had that problem before. I guess when I put, when I change the, uh, when I change the aspect ratio, the, it gets funky. I did it last time too. Yeah, Forbes corner went to Mississippi State. This must be some sort of like a parallel. It's got that shimmer to it. If the camera will focus on it. I mean, if to get like get this out of there. That's bothering the oh, that's bothering the heck out of me, man. I don't like that. Throw these in the corner. See if it won't focus on him. It's gonna bother the living heck out of me. There you go. And I already saw this. Man, I, this design is, is different. This is really different. To me, it, it looks like something that would. It, it, I think it's going for like the, the term prestige, right? Cameron Jordan, one of my top favorite saints of all time. He's in the top five. Um, I named my first son after Drew Brees. My second son will be named after Marcus Colston. Um, but Cameron Jordan's right there. He's going to walk into the Hall of Fame. Incredible football player. Here we have a... Uh, oh, goodness, this is pissing me off to no end. Rodney Harrison. Throwback card. Chris Carter. One of the best receivers of all time. Allegedly some of the best hands of all time. Well before my time. Jalen Waddle. And uh, with the um, with the design of the card, I really like the Dolphins colors here. I think it complements the card very well. The white doesn't wash out the other white at all. This is a really good look. Um, yeah, just a base pile there. Tyler Higby, or the Higbeast, as he's commonly referred to. Marquis Hollywood Brown, really good receiver, had higher hopes for him today with um, the return of Kyler Murray, he's on my fantasy team, Sam Hubbard, defensive end, the Bengals, and uh, Jamal 
Paul Lewis. So, a couple rookies there, so I assume some of these next packs won't have rookies in them. Backer. 
monsters that everyone feared growing up. I also want to say, man, I hope everyone's doing good. Smith, quarterback, Seahawks. Is that a little bit of that regression? What you would have expected, right? Last year was such an outlier for him and his career. So, but he's still a very competent um, starting quarterback, in my, in my opinion. There's Nick Bosa. One of the more impressive football families of my lifetime, certainly. Valdez Scantling, wide receiver, Kansas City Chiefs. We are getting a ton of Chiefs in this pack. Chris Jones, who was holding out originally, and uh, after a few weeks, signed with the team. I'm waiting on the Taylor Swift card to come in. Mark Brunel went to a Super Bowl. With them there, Jacksonville Jaguars. If memory serves me correct, please tell me if I'm lying. Um, we had this conversation at work, you know, like top five lefty quarterbacks of all time. Like Brunel is like, like Steve Young, right? And I just blank after that. I don't know anyone from like, I mean, after like 1970, like you missed me with that, but like, Tua, Debo, Brunel, Kellen Moore. Like, I'm just naming guys off the top of my head that did it, you know? Not that many guys. So Brunel is definitely a top five lefty quarterback of all time, I would imagine. Probably a top three guy, you know? Jim Kelly, longtime Buffalo Bills quarterback. Uh, Bill Romanowski, what a tank of a man. That, that's kind of a cool card. Got a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, throwback cards in here, but that's kind of a cool one. I don't think he's a guy I've seen a lot of throwback cards of. And I'll always have a, tall, a soft spot for Terrace Marshall Jr., as I do for all my LSU players. He was a part of that 2019 national championship team. Or as you may refer to them, like I do, the greatest college team 
to ever play the game. We are halfway through here. Hope you guys are nice, relaxed, and enjoying this rambling. That uh, car kind of sucked there, I apologize. Another one of these prestigious pros cards. Two for two on the Rams. I'm getting those. That's Matthew Stafford. And one of our perilous. How many of these do we get? Oh, we have, I haven't seen a numbered parallel at all. Unless I've missed it. This is a nudged. So. Oh, yeah. First sleeve being pulled out here because we got one. A Bijan Robinson card. Yes, sir. God, if only, if only he wasn't a Falcon, man. I hate the Falcons as a Saints fan, but... Oh. That's awesome, man. To get a Bijan there. He's incredible. They've got to get him the ball more. I didn't see the stats today. I know Heineke got hurt. And they had to play Ritter again. But, um, yeah, I, uh... You draft that cat, man. You got to get him the ball, man. Fletcher Cox. I mean, you're dealing with... Uh, a Christian McCaffrey type running back. Get him the freaking ball, man. Don't make it so difficult. Quinn and Williams. Arthur Smith kind of stinks, though. Well, CJ Mosley, good linebacker for the Jets. Quay Walker, Green Bay Packers. This is the defense back after I got uh, Beach on there. Antonio Freeman. Packers, good running back, maybe. Oh, there's a receiver. 86 Dumbo. Look at the number. I'm a dummy. I'm sorry, guys. Brain isn't firing on all cylinders. Uh, Eddie Jackson. Chicago Bears. More defenders. Nick Chubb. Man. If you guys are fans of the channel, you know how much I love Nick Chubb. He's probably my... Favorite running back to watch outside of Alvin Camaro because he's on the Saints, but Nick Chubb is incredible, man. I hate to see him get hurt. I'm um, hope he, hope he uh, bounces back, man. He's he's a super talented cat. And there's Jordan, Jordan Bouillier, Bouillier, who um, you may know because of his wife. <laughs> I should do better. That's a bad joke. But yeah, Jordan put your talented safety for the Bills. But yeah, when he was drafted, it was because of his wife slash girlfriend. All right. Not, he wasn't drafted because of her, but you may have known him as a rookie because of her. I should elaborate without sounding like an idiot. And I, here's, the, here's the guy I like right here. I got no problem with this. It's my numbered parallel, okay? So I better like him. High numbered parallel. This is um, time stamps. This is Kyler Murray making his two points in dramatic fashion. Number two. If you can see that, 249. This is 239 out of 249. Kyler Murray. I think he's an absolute stud. People are counting him out way too soon. All the Call of Duty BS and everything that's been bandied about. He's one heck of a football player, man. Super talented in my opinion, so rooting for him to prove people wrong or right. There's Deontay Banks, I believe he was drafted by the Giants. Yeah. Corner out of Maryland. And Maryland has some of the worst helmets in all of college football, but Deontay Banks. I thought was really good coming out. Uh, Michael Wilson was at Stanford. And let me think. Let me think. Let me think of who. I can't remember who we got drafted by. Man. That's right. Arizona Cardinals. It was weird. Like, people were wondering why he didn't get drafted sooner. I've heard a peep from him this year, so. There's a nice throwback. Warren 
and Seb. I don't think 
think it was that bad of a pool or uh, that bad of a pack uh, or blaster box. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are absolutely the best. Stay blessed. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.